I, I thank the chairman. Um, who cares more, Ms. Weingarten? Who cares more about a child's education, the teacher's union or the child's parents? I would say that um, Mr. Jordan or Representative Jordan, teachers, parents and teachers care about kids. Obviously, parents care about their own kids more than probably anyone else, but teachers and parents are real partners in children's education. Okay, that's fine. So, so you would say, but I ask you, who cares more? You would say parents. Well, parents, parents care. Look, I'm not, I'm, I'm not here to be in a competition. Parents are so important in children's lives. No kidding. Teachers are so important in children's lives, I agree. too. Why did you, uh, you repost and praise the op-ed that was in the Washington Post? Uh, parents claim they have the right to shape their kids' school curriculum. They don't. And um, you posted they, that, and you said this was a great piece that, we should, that people should read. Head of it, Teachers Union praises op-ed claiming parents don't have a right to shape their kids' curriculum. You really believe that? The, um, the headline of that op-ed was not appropriate compared to the actual work in that op-ed. The work in that op-ed talked about, if you actually read you that op-ed. You disagree with the headline then? No, I disagreed with the headline. The work in that okay. op-ed talked about how um, parents and teachers have to have a role so, so sh in kids' education. So should the headline of read, parents claim ha they have a right to shape their kids' school curriculum. They do? Should that have been what the headline said? I don't, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Well, let me, ask you, let me just ask you straightforward. Just let me ask straightforward. Do parents have a right to shape their kids' curriculum? Parents have a right to have a role in their kids' curriculum, yes. Who are the extremist politicians? You did 25 pages of your written testimony. You had 14 pages. Your law firm had, I think, the other uh, 11. And right at the end of the main body of your written testimony, before you get into the issue of today about the consultation you guys had with the CDC, you say in this last paragraph, uh, attacks by extremist politicians have undermined teachers in schools. Well, who, are the, I think who are the extremist politicians? I think you just heard one, sir. So Ms. Green's one of them? I think, look, okay, that's, that's what I, you think think. When, I think the issue is the culture wars that are going on in schools right now, banning books, undermining teachers. How about this statement? I don't think parents should be telling schools what to teach. You just told me a few minutes ago you didn't agree with that sentiment. Is that a statement from, that's a statement from a politician. Is that extremist? I believe that parents have to have a role in kids' education. And in fact, when I was teaching at Clara Barton High School, we had parent engagement all the time. Who said this I statement? would bring, if you, if you want me to finish, I'll finish. I, like so many other teachers, used to do, I was a high school social studies teacher. I know yep. you were a wrestling coach. I was a high school social studies teacher. Yep. My, wife I, taught, my wife taught I, our kids went to public school. I, we appreciate good teaching. Yeah, my coach, no, my high we, school coach, had a I huge mean, impact know, on my life. I know, and I honor that. Same here. But we, you know, so what I would do, and so many other teachers But I ask you, well, I ask you a specific question. I don't think parents should be telling schools what to teach. Do you know who made that statement? Um, I don't know. September 28, 2021, candidate for governor in the state of Virginia. You know who made that statement? I don't. Are you talking about Mr. McAuliffe? I am talking about Mr. McAuliffe. He made that statement. Is that extremist? Is that an extremist political statement? In fact, what I did, Mr. Jordan, was when I heard that no, statement. No, we know what you did. You endorsed him and no, did when a six-figure ad buy. Your when organization I, when did I, 18 days later. When I did, Mr. Jordan, is when I heard that statement, I called Mr. McAuliffe and but, I told him I disagreed with him. But on it that wasn't statement. enough to get you to not do a six-figure ad buy for his campaign. Well, what the six, what the ad buy did was do what we thought Mr. Koff was, which was that really same supportive. Paragraph, that same paragraph on page twelve. I just got a parents. minute. I just got a minute. Same, Sorry. Uh, same paragraph on page twelve. You say most Americans disapprove of the culture wars that have saturated education policy. Who started the culture wars? Um. I know that when you have banning of books, like a book about well, let me ask Frank, you, let me ask you a like a book a, a around question. about Roberto Clemente, like a book about R Ruby Bridges, that's wrong. Those that who think, let in, me ask you this, let those things were in Those Florida. who think boys should compete against boys in sports, or those who think boys can compete against girls in sports, which one, which side started the culture war? 
Which one of those positions? Sir, I am talking about, when I talk about the culture wars, I am talking about things like book banning. I'm talking about things like stopping teachers from teaching honest is it a Is it starting a culture war if you think uh, literature should be age appropriate? That's not a, that's not. I believe that literature should be age appropriate too. Okay. I'm out of time. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.